James Webb captures and record the image of his first star as the immense universe. Affectionate welcome to this new documentary, I am the engineer Hidakel Morrison, and thank you for deciding to watch this educational content. Where we will explain what the James Webb discovered in this first star, along with the most relevant information on the current and future state of the James Webb. Join me until the end of this video, in this new scientific and technological adventure. From an engineer's perspective. Let's start. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most modern telescope ever built, after traveling a million miles, finally reached its destination, where it began the process of cooling and calibrating its mirror and instruments. Managing to capture his first star. The record of stars is of great value, because among the many measurements and observations, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will study how bursts of radiation from massive stars influence their environments. It will study a portion of the radiated cloud called Orion's bar to learn more about the influence massive stars have on their environments, and even on the formation of our own solar system. On January 3, 2022, the James Webb achieved what NASA has called the first light, a very important milestone for any telescope, since it is the point where the observatory and its various instruments detect light. Of the stars, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured its first photons of starlight, as it begins a three-month alignment process to get ready to observe the universe. Let's see in detail the capture and image of the first James Webb star. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology and the universe. Thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. This already iconic telescope is named after James Edwin Webb, a well-known NASA administrator between 1961 and 1968. Despite not being a scientist or an engineer, he managed under his administration that the U.S. Space Agency successfully carry out some of the most important exploration missions in its entire history. NASA began with the alignment of the James Webb Space Telescope and its camera was able to capture the first photons of light from a distant star that passed through its mirrors, to be detected by the near-infrared camera, which means that it reached the first milestone of a three-month-long alignment process that will allow humanity to see farther into space and further back in time than ever before. The James Webb team began aligning the telescope this week and welcomed the first photons of starlight reflecting off its mirrors to be detected by the near-infrared camera or NIRCAM. NASA has explained that initially the images will be out of focus, but the James Webb team will use them to gradually fine-tune the telescope. Although the process has only just begun, NASA revealed that the initial results match the team's expectations and simulations. This first image is the beginning of a process that will last three months and will have seven phases. And it is that the observation power of the James Webb Telescope comes from its golden primary mirror of 6.5 meters in diameter. It is made up of 18 hexagonal segments, each of which is 1.32 meters in diameter. These segments have to work together, and that means they have to match a fraction of the wavelength of light, about 50 nanometers. According to a NASA press release, the images taken by Webb during this period will not be pretty images like the new views of the universe that the James Webb Telescope is expected to unveil in late June 2022. In this early stage those images only serve strictly to prepare the telescope for science. Now the telescope points to the so-called HD 84406, a bright isolated star. Each of the 18 mirrors will send images to the telescope, and each image will be out of focus and distorted. The team will have to move the mirror segments to figure out which mirror is producing which image, and then tilt the mirrors to point the images at a common point. At this point, if all goes well, you will have an 18-point image that is out of focus and blurry. After capturing these first test and adjustment images, in the second step, each mirror segment will be aligned to adjust for observed distortions. End result, a set of 18 less blurry shots. In the third step, meanwhile, it is about stacking the 18 images slowly joining them into a single unified image. The fourth step is the thick phase. This is when the segments of the mirror, which still act like 18 small mirrors, 
adjust so that they start to act like one big one. This will be done three times. The fifth step is the fine adjustment, which will also be done three times, right after each course adjustment. This process will also be repeated as needed throughout the life of the web. During the sixth step, the team will take the field alignment of the near-infrared camera instrument and apply it to the rest of the instruments. An algorithm will be used to calculate the necessary corrections to align all science instruments. In the seventh and last step come the final corrections, when the small positioning errors left over from the so-called fine phase are cleaned up. At any point in this process, you can go back and repeat whatever steps are necessary to fine-tune the tuning. The seven steps will be taken to make all the mirrors of the James Webb telescope work together as a single mirror, the 18 primary segments of the telescope must match each other within a fraction of a wavelength of light. Once this phase is completed, the recording of the first totally clear image of the James Webb telescope will begin, possibly in June 2022, beginning a new stage in the observation, study and understanding of the vast universe. What expectations do you have with the first images of James Webb? I would like to read your opinions in the comments of this video. As usual, we appreciate you informing us, it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. Be sure to follow us on all our social networks, identify us as Ing Morrison. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.